Hey YouTube, uh, I wanted to make this video real quick about this lock. This is a Kaba Simplex uh, L1000 or 1000, um, something like that. Anyway, you see these a lot. This one's gold colored. Most of the ones I've seen are silver. Um, basically what I want to talk about is that you see one of these locks and you think, wow, that's a pretty secure little lock. Um, it must be built pretty tough, I mean, because they're expensive to buy them new. Uh, but the problem with them is unlike alarm keypads and stuff where you can add several codes for several different users and use a uh, number twice or use each number twice like for instance one two three one two three with this one you can only use each number once the default combination uh, yeah I wasn't playing this out the default combination is three and four, or two and four, and then three. And you notice it pulled the latch back in. Um, and if you make a mistake, you've got to. Here on my lap. If you make a mistake, you've got to reset the lever. So if you, I'll put something random in. You've got to reset it every time you make a mistake. But the problem with these is, since you can only use each number once, you can't have like one, two, three, one, two, three, like I said earlier. Um, that really narrows down the, the possible combinations you can have on this. So if you know what buttons they've pressed, and a way you could do that is to take a UV powder or even dust the buttons for fingerprints if you want to and see which ones are the ones that are pressed most often or just listen to the number someone enters in. If they enter in four numbers, you know that's a four-digit combination. Uh, the, there's lists out there published on the internet. I know 2600 did one some years back um, about all the possible combinations this lot can have. And just to test that, I had a friend I, I had a friend change the combination list to something that I did not know. And I told him to do it in a four-digit combination. And it took me about three minutes to figure it out uh, just by going through every possible combination um, another thing you can do like for instance the, I was talking about the UV powder trick or the fingerprint trick say if you notice that one three and five have been pressed there's only several combinations that would use those numbers there's one three five five three one three one five and might be a few more but yeah since you can't use 5531 or 1135 uh, you can rule a lot out by that it's they're overall they're good locks but the knowledge required to open them is even less than it is to pick a lock believe me I've, I've picked locks before my own stuff um, it's way much easier to open one of these than it is to pick a lock or, or or drill something out or kick a door in or whatever um, it wouldn't leave any traces behind especially if you wiped off the buttons made sure your fingerprints weren't on them and no I do not condone you to go out and break into places by doing what I've just described it's mainly for people that have these locks to let you know how insecure that they really can be for such an expensive lock there is a homeowner version it's a lot skinnier than this it's got the same same buttons though uh, there's versions that have just a door knob w without the a handicapped handle. Uh, there's versions that will also have a keyhole in here. And what the keyhole does, it's an override. If you don't want to use the combination, you put your key in, turn it, and that unlocks it as well. Um, on the back side, you've got another handle. And this little lock right here is a, just a little wafer lock. You, un you undo that, and that there's a little slot back there you can turn to change the combo. Um, it doesn't do anything other than let you change the combo on that and also take the cover off if you want to I mounted it on this it's crooked I know but that's what I did at the time but yeah two four three all right two four three yep oh, what I do there we go just thought one back in yeah I just wanted to post that uh, I thought this was cool. I got this um, at a thrift store for like 
10 bucks. It's pretty cool. And I've messed around with it quite a bit. I've had some fun with it. There is another video out there about how to use a magnet to open one. It's from Mark Tobias. You might check it out. I don't have a link for it right now. But just look up simplex lock hack. It's even easier than what I just described, but if you don't have access to a magnet or you don't want to get caught with a magnet, this is much easier. And like I said, do not use this knowledge to break into places. I do not recommend you try that. I do not support illegal activities, yada yada yada. Um, it's, it's pretty neat though, I mean, it's actually pretty scary though really because if you got caught you wouldn't have lock picks on you. You wouldn't have any burglar tools. All you need is your fingers and the ability to count. And that's what makes it so scary. I mean, you could go into a place with nothing on you. You go into a place naked and crack one. <laughs> I, I doubt you'd want to do that, but it could be done. I mean, it's just that easy. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. For now, that'll be it. Stay safe out there.